hello friends today we will discuss the topic for the bsc final year students the name of the topic is the nuclear models in nuclear chemistry especially it is based on the topic of nuclear chemistry and it carries and some significance in the nuclear chemistry in santa gargay baba amrit university it is included in the syllabus for the final year students hello my name is dr p r malle working as the head department of chemistry at led baskar singh nayars professor narayan ragonde science and achalatal gaonde commerce college sakarkhada so let us start with the introduction of the nuclear models we know that nuclear properties clearly indicates that the nucleus is very complex in order to explain the observed nuclear properties there are many theories which are being explained for the concept of the nuclear models we will discuss some of the nuclear models number 1 is the nuclear shell model this model was developed by mayer jensen excel and swiss in the year 1948 with the help of quantum mechanics the second is the liquid drop model it was developed by niels bohr and j willer in the year 1936 and it is also developed independently by frankel now we will see the postulates of the, our first nuclear shell model the shell model of the nucleus was derived from a very successful electronic shell atom it involves the nuclear which moves in its own orbit which is determined by the nuclear potential these nucleons are distributed in the series of the discrete energy levels we know that the capacity of each orbital is raised a closed shell is formed means the electrons enters in each shell the proton forms a pair with the proton similarly the neutron forms a pair with the neutron but a proton cannot form a pair with neutron in case of odd atomic number for both nucleides the nuclear properties like spin particularity and magnetic moment are due to the presence of the unpaired nucleons thus this model is mainly applicable in ground state of the now we will move to the concept of the magic numbers magic numbers an atom which is closed shell electronic configuration is very stable and exhibits chemical inert list like zero group elements thus the nuclei with 2 8 20 50 82 and 126 protons or neutrons or both exhibit exceptional stability as compared to the close neighbors these numbers we are called as the magic numbers now we will see the advantages of the shell model now what are the advantages these are number 1 the main success of the shell model is the explanation of the magic numbers the shell model is very well explains the existence of the magic numbers number 2 the stability of the elements can be predicted next it gives theoretically the correct values of the magnetic moment the shell model is capable of predicting the ground state nuclear spin the shell model also explains the nuclear isomerism and it can easily explain the periodicity observed in the nuclear properties now we will discuss the limitations there are certain limitations for the shell model also so these are 
the shear model fails to explain the stability of the sperm nucleates of hydrogen, lithium, boron, and nitrogen. It also fails to explain the nuclear fusion. The another limitation is that it is unable to explain the formation of the compound nucleus and the observed cross section of the nuclear reaction with the high energy particles cannot be by this model. We will see the postulates of the liquid drop model. In liquid drop models, the nucleus consists of protons and neutrons. Each nucleon interacts strongly with all its neighbors. It considers the collective motion of all the nucleons. Next, the nuclear force is similar to that of the intermolecular forces of the attraction in the liquid drop. The nuclear force is independent of the charge and the spin of nucleons. Behavior of nucleus is compar comparable to that of the liquid drop. Now we will see the advantages of the liquid drop model. These are the liquid drop model provides the basis for calculating the accurate binding energies of the nuclei and atomic masses. The liquid drop model also explains the radioactive decay, radioactive decay and it can be predicted correctly. The liquid drop model could explain the nuclear fusion reaction which was not explained by shale model. It also explains the mechanism of low energy nuclear reactions. It predicts the emission particles and it is capable of explaining nuclear properties in excited state. Now we will see what are the limitations of the liquid drop model. Though there are certain advantages of liquid drop model over shale model, it has some limitations. These are this liquid drop model fails to explain the magic numbers that is the periodicity in the nuclear properties. It fails to explain the stability of the heavy nucleates. This model is not consistent with PP and NN pairing effects which are prominently observed in the stable nuclei. The model ignores the independent motion of nucleons, magnetic moment effects, etc. And the applications of the model is limited to the nuclei with the yes. medium. Thus, this is all about our nuclear models. Thank you.